Hello learners, I am teacher Jonathan and welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. In our lesson for today, Grade 4 Mathematics, today we will be working or uses of letters, using letters to form algebraic expressions. And today we will be forming algebraic expressions involving subtraction. Forming algebraic expressions involving subtraction. In our previous lesson, we learned how to form algebraic expressions bringing together, or in other words, using addition. And we used addition to form algebraic expression. And today, I would like us to pair and just observe what I have with me on the table. I have a number of pens. So, I would like us to represent pens using letters. We represent pens, and these pens in our groups, learners, I would like as we represent them using a letter P. So the number of pens we have, the number of pens, number of pens will be shown by letter P. Now, if, if this number of pens that I have, I give out another number that is Q pens. I give out Q pens. So I'm giving out, I'm giving out out some pens and the pens I'll give out are Q pens. So in the many pens that I have, I give out Q pens. I've given out Q pens. Now, what is my remaining? What, what am I remaining with? What am I remaining with, learners? Remember, initially we had the number of pens and these pens, we were representing them with the letter P. And now I would like to give just a portion to give out. So I'm giving out the number of pens. The number of pens I've given out represented by letter Q. Now, how many pens am I remaining with? The number of pens I'm remaining with, the number of pens remaining, the number of pens remaining, remaining will be represented how? How will I represent them? This is how I will represent them. I'll pick the initial number of pens I had. That is P. Now, I'm giving out, I'm taking away the number of pens Q. And what I'm remaining with now is my number of pens I'm remaining. And here we have used letters to represent or to form an algebraic expressions involving subtraction. We have used letters to represent or to show an algebraic expression using involving subtraction. P, pens, take away Q, pens. That is our first expression we have formed involving subtraction. Now, in our groups, I would like us also to form the following. Tom as Tom as five B books. Tom as five B books. If if he gives John two B. If he gives John two C books. How many is he remaining with? How many is he remaining with? This is our, our group activity. If Tom has five B books and he gave John two C books, how many books is he remaining with now? Let us try to form an algebraic expression. Remember the number of initial books, the total number of books that Tom had. So the number of pen, the number of books, the number of books, of books, and this is the total number of books. Were five B. He give he gave out. So given out. He gave out. How many did he give out? He gave out. 2c. So the remaining, the remaining 
remaining will form an expression remaining will form an expression and the expression will be 5 B minus 2 C that is the remaining and the remaining is our expression the remaining we call it algebraic expression and because we do not know the value of B and C so we leave it at this point and this becomes our algebraic expression involving subtraction learners that is how we form expressions or algebraic expressions involving subtraction remember algebraic expressions are formed or are formed using letters and that is how we have represented now we can try the following task we can try the following task task for us to do task number one task for number one John has five John has S John has S cows he gave out he gave out R cows how many is he remaining with how many how many is he remaining with how many is he remaining with John as s cows and he gave out r cows how many is he remaining with and our final task our final task our final task ryan ryan as ryan as j apples ryan as j apples ryan as j apples she gave she gave she gave john she gave john she gave john three y apples she gave john three y apples how many is she remaining with 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 ryan had j apples she gave john three y apples how many is she remaining with those are our two tasks for today remember to do more practice you can also use the internet and access how to form algebraic expressions using or involving subtraction hope you've enjoyed the lesson see you next time